Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I ordered a box a lot like this one from Mushroom Box. I grew the blue-gray oyster mushrooms that you can see growing behind me. Now, I had a huge amount of success with using the mushroom kit. I'm gonna have a little bit of an experiment. When I first grew blue-gray oyster mushrooms, I grew them specifically using all the resources that were included in the kit from uh, Mushroom Box. This time, what I've done is I have just ordered the green spawn, and what I'm going to try and do is use resources that I have in my shed, in my house, and out in the local environment to try and grow um, more mushrooms. This is more tricky because the stuff that came from um, mushroom box was specifically designed to make it as easy as possible and believe me it was easy and it was great fun and I would highly recommend. However I want to try and get a little bit more adventurous. My main concern is the substrate I'm going to use. Am I going to be able to get it clean enough? Am I going to be able to get it free of any other spores or anything that could grow in that environment besides the mushroom grain spawn for the blue grey oyster mushrooms? So I've been out and I've picked some dry grass. So I'm gonna need to sterilize this somehow. Not quite sure what the best technique is yet. I've left it for a couple of hours just so that any creepy crawlies that are in there can escape before I pour boiling hot water over it, which will hopefully kill everything in there. I don't have a bag to grow these in, like this one. So what I'm going to do is I have this bag that I had some compost in that I have finished using. I noticed that it, unlike a lot of other bags I have, it doesn't appear to have any holes in it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to first clean this bag and then once I'm confident that this is clean, I'm going to put that uh, straw into it, soak it for eight hours in three litres of boiling hot water. Now I'm going to wash this bag and uh, get it really, really nice and clean. So first off, I just want to find out if this bag has any holes in the bottom and if it will actually hold the water. So I'm going to fill it up with a little bit and see, see if it all pours out the bottom. Looks good. Right, so time to get this as clean as I can. I think the bag is fairly clean. I've decided to turn it inside out. I'm now going to put all of the straw inside and then fill it up with boiling hot water. I think when I'm going to try and mix in the grain spawn later, it's going to be hard to do that because the straw is so long. So I think I'm going to get some scissors and give them a good chopping up as I put it into the bag. So I've started putting hot water and there's three litres in there already and it's like, it's not covering the straw at all so I think it's going to take maybe another two to do and then I might squish it down and just hope that that's enough to uh, kill everything off. Don't think it's enough. One more. That's the mushroom bag prepared. I'm not going to leave for eight hours and I'll come back later tonight to empty out the water and to do the next stage of the mushroom growing process. Okay, so it is uh, the next day. I've left things to <laughs> soak for far too long. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem and the um, substrate won't have time to mulch. We're going to have a look at the DIY blue-grey oyster mushrooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pegs off and I'm going to try and drain as much of the water out as possible. I'm 
just going to leave that to drain. Now, I don't know if the sterilisation process will have been enough. We'll go with what we've got. Hopefully, it'll be enough to get our blue grey oyster mushrooms to grow. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blue grey oyster mushroom spawn. I've been storing in the fridge overnight, keeping it at a cool temperature. I'm just going to break up any of those sort of larger lumps to ensure that I've got maximum surface area so that when it gets mixed into the substrate it's going to grow as much throughout. So I'm now going to pour this in, mix it into the substrate. Now when you're working with mushrooms something that's really important to do is to make sure that your hands are super clean. I think this is going to be really hard to mix. <laughs> So here we go, I'm just going to pour in the grain spawn. So I'm just going to pour half of it in and then I'll mix it. Just trying to get more down to the very bottom of the bag. Let's get the rest of this in here. So I think that's it nicely mixed up. Um, I'm going to seal up the bag and then I'm going to cut holes in it so that the oyster mushroom can grow out. The last thing I want to do is to cut some holes in the bag. I'm going to do this by using a sharp knife and I'm going to probably make about six holes in the bag uh, just using X's. this box that we just had kicking around the house so I'm going to use this for storing my blue grey oyster mushrooms so I'm just going to pop the bag in here just get them nice and snug I've got um, this polythene bag uh, it's biodegradable and I've just wrapped that around just to help keep a little bit more of the moisture in and now I'm going to pack it away for the next two to three weeks, let the mycelium do its thing and see how it gets on. Now I should add that I am by no means an expert in growing mushrooms. If you want to watch an expert grow mushrooms, there's loads of other people out there on YouTube doing it. I've probably made a hundred rookie mistakes in this video, but I'm just doing it because I am an enthusiast. I'm very new to mushroom growing and I had so much fun growing the blue grey oyster mushroom box provided by Mushroom Box Tea that I wanted to have a go trying it myself um, and see how I get on. So for this kit that I'm using, everything except for the mushroom spawn itself, that was provided by Mushroom Box. But I'm using my own substrate, I'm using a box that I have kicking about the house. The bag that I've used to keep the substrate and the spawn in is an old compost bag that I had in the shed. And this bag here is just a biodegradable bag that we use to get rid of our food wastes. I have a feeling I've not done enough to ensure that other things don't grow in here too. So I don't have huge hopes, but I thought I would give it a shot. It looks like oyster mushrooms are pretty resilient. So hopefully this will work. Regardless of whether it does or it doesn't, I'm gonna share the video and you can see what happens. So that's everything from me for now. I'll be back in two or three weeks time with an update. Um, I might even have a sneaky peek in a week or so just to see how the mycelium is getting on for the blue grey oyster mushroom. All right.